Extinction is akin to a cosmic year in the life on Earth's surface. Over the course of millions of years, numerous species and even entire families have completely vanished. Sometimes, similar species that branched out from their extinct ancestors appear, while in other cases, nothing replaces the extinct animal at all. The rare and unique characteristics of extinct animal species have no present-day alternatives. In reality, the extinction of living creatures is extensive and diverse, with environmental changes being one of the causes. Sudden environmental disasters can lead to massive destruction and devastation. Of course, we should not forget to mention the notorious element that is always associated with the word destruction, which is the human factor. In their relatively short existence of no more than 300,000 years, humans have managed to cause the demise and extinction of countless species. What is astonishing is that these animals had peacefully inhabited the Earth's surface for millions of years, and it took humans only a few thousand years to completely eradicate them. To provide a detailed account of all the creatures that have gone extinct due to human intervention would require thousands of episodes. This is a genuine issue, not an exaggeration. Humans have indeed exterminated an enormous number of fascinating and remarkable creatures. One of the victims of extinction was the aurochs, which also had a significant presence in certain regions of the Middle East. It was larger in size than the current domesticated cattle, with a body height reaching around 2 meters. It possessed sharp horns and the power of the European bull. This enormous type of livestock used to inhabit most parts of Europe and North Africa. It was characterized by its black or dark brown skin. The aurochs was the bull used in Roman arenas and ancient wrestling arenas. It was the first bull to be used for such purposes because of its known aggressive nature, which drove it to attack anything in front of it. It was excessively hunted, leading to a gradual decline in its population by the 13th century. The aurochs was a favored prey for the nobility and royal families throughout Europe. The last known aurochs, a female, died in Poland in 1627. The aurochs was depicted in ancient Egyptian drawings and artifacts because it was abundant in the Egyptian environment. The Atlas bear, also known as the Atlas brown bear, was a species of bear that inhabited the Atlas Mountains in the northwestern part of the African continent, including Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. It was the only bear species found in Africa, and fortunately, it is not extinct. Currently, there are no bear species present in Africa at all. The Atlas bear was heavily hunted, with thousands being captured. There are some accounts that suggest it was used in entertainment shows, while others claim it was used for executing criminals. Instead of issuing a traditional execution by shooting, for example, it was said that the criminal would be executed by being thrown to the bear, specifically the Atlas bear. It is widely believed that the last known bear of this species fell victim to a hunter in northern Morocco in the 1970s. After that, it completely disappeared, leaving no trace behind. It is amusing that the people of China used to venerate a species of freshwater dolphin living in the Yangtze River, considering it the river's guardian deity. However, they were the cause of its demise and extinction. The Yangtze River, or Changjiang, is the longest river in China and the third longest in the world. It was the primary habitat for the Baiji dolphin, a species believed to have existed for over 20 million years. Despite its long history, we sadly managed to eradicate it within a few years. The Baiji dolphin population gradually declined as China shifted its focus to industrialization, extensively utilizing the river for fishing, transportation, and hydroelectric power generation. The last surviving Baiji dolphin, named Chi Chi, died in 2002, resulting in the complete extinction of the species. The Baiji dolphin is considered the first dolphin species in history to be driven to extinction by human activities. This is our plea to all the dolphins watching this episode, please take care. The dodo bird was an unfortunate creature that was unable to fly, had small legs, slow movements, and couldn't defend itself. It was endemic to a few islands and, most notably, the island of Mauritius. But what's even more significant is that it had a delicious taste. So, imagine what would happen when a hungry person encounters a dodo bird that hasn't eaten since morning. Of course, humans, being completely immoderate, exploited natural resources and animal wealth, especially if the bird had such a delectable flavor. The dodo bird was a fruit-eating bird that nested on the ground. Its behavior was similar to that of an ostrich, except it was much smaller due to its tiny legs. In the countries where it existed, it was called the stupid bird because it was extremely docile and unable to defend itself. When the Portuguese first encountered it in 1507, they considered it a culinary treasure and feasted on it until it became extinct in 1681. This bird, which had lived for thousands of years in its habitat, was driven to extinction in just 170 years. The mammoth is an elephant-like animal that inhabited the earth for over 5 million years. It was primarily found in northern Russia, specifically Siberia, 
and is considered the most famous among the giant animals that inhabited the ancient world, despite its relatively short period of existence. The mammoth, or the giant creature, is a well-known animal that lived in cold and temperate regions. It had an average weight ranging from 6 to 8 tons, and in some cases, the males could reach around 12 tons. The length of a mammoth could reach approximately 4.5 meters, and it possessed extremely large tusks. Unfortunately, some of the latter species and subspecies of mammoths encountered humans on Earth, particularly the woolly mammoth, which was the last subspecies of mammoths and existed for about 300,000 years. The mammoth was considered a treasure by primitive humans and represented a massive source of food and resources. Primitive humans utilized every aspect of the mammoth's body, effectively using its meat for nourishment, its bones and skin for constructing tents and houses, and its tusks for crafting weapons and spears. Therefore, all fingers are pointed at humans regarding the extinction of mammoths, in addition to some other natural factors such as continuous falling into crevices and cracks on the Earth's surface, as well as climate changes and the spread of certain diseases. The mammoth coexisted with another extinct creature, the Smilodon, in the same time period. They both inhabited the same environment and shared the Earth. The Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed cat, appeared in the Ice Age movie series. It is a large feline resembling the present-day tiger, but slightly bigger, with very large and sharp canines. It is considered one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and is widely depicted in films and documentaries. The extinction of the Smilodon is believed to be linked to the disappearance of the large animals it preyed upon. You might remember them from Ice Age. The primary prey of the Smilodon consisted of ancient bovine similar to the current American bison, as well as some species of pigs or llamas. Since the Smilodon specialized in hunting large prey, which provided it with the necessary energy and food, its adaptation to the new environmental conditions failed when its prey disappeared. The tigers were unable to cope with the new circumstances because they could not provide themselves with enough sustenance and food. This raises the question of why the animals that the saber-toothed cat fed on disappeared. Humans during this time period began to spread into the habitats of the saber-toothed cat, including North America. They engaged in massive and unsustainable hunting for sustenance, which led to the disappearance of a large number of animals. This is in addition to the climate changes that occurred during this period. It is worth mentioning that the Smilodon is one of the strongest feline species ever, including lions, tigers, leopards, and wildcats. This is because its body was thicker than all of them, in addition to its canines, which were specialized for stabbing prey. Its long leg bones indicate its ability to jump long distances, along with the strength of its limb muscles, allowing it to firmly grasp large-sized animals. CT scans have shown that it had the ability to withstand weights greater than those borne by American lions. Humans are innocent in this matter, not because we are good, but because we did not exist at that time. Who knows, if we were present, we might have attacked them with weapons and missiles, subjecting them to dinosaur-like experiments. Dinosaurs are the most famous extinct creatures, and if they were not the most famous, they would have been the dominant species on Earth for millions of years, surpassing 160 million years according to some reports. These creatures were characterized by their immense strength and size, reaching up to tens of tons, not to mention their towering heights. Some dinosaurs were carnivorous, others were herbivorous, and some were omnivorous, meaning they ate both meat and plants. The number of dinosaur species varied throughout the ages, exceeding hundreds or even thousands of species. The main reason for their extinction is believed to be the collision of a massive asteroid with the Earth during the Cretaceous period, more than 65 million years ago. This event led to the extinction of most living creatures on the surface of the Earth, including dinosaurs. If you want to learn more about dinosaurs, a video will be released tomorrow. As for the attempts by scientists to clone extinct creatures and bring them back to life, it is possible that they may succeed one day. This does not mean they are resurrecting the dead or that it is impossible. They are looking for living cells, for example, preserved in ice, from which they can extract the complete or at least the majority of the DNA. They can then fill in the remaining gaps of the DNA with DNA from a similar animal and inject it. In any case, share your opinions in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For those who are new, subscribe and enable notifications to receive our videos regularly. See you in the next episode.